Back to the Phillips. <clears throat> this thing um, is, a, is far more complex than I originally thought it was. It has some, it has an auto stop uh, capability. Um, it's got some pretty complex circuitry. So uh, I'm not sure, I'm just not sure about this one. Just to be completely honest with you. Not real sure, not real confident on being able to repair this one, but we'll see what happens. What I did since uh, I stopped filming last time, I cleaned off the battery goo. You can, I still need to clean some of it off here. It was absolutely all over everything, and it was dis, it was tar. I mean, just horrible. I did have to take the spindle out, which is uh, kind of a pain in and of itself. Uh, when I get underneath, I'll try to remember to show you what that looks like. <clears throat> I do have a belt for this. A uh, new belt just came in. I, it, it had a belt on it. I, I, I don't know if I covered this last time or if I noticed it, but the on-off switch does not work. This is stuck down in the on position, which is very common on these. I'm not going to <clears throat> immediately concern myself with repairing that because it's common for turntables to be on all the time. Um, to have power all the time until you move the tone arm over or something like that. So power is always on to some of these. So I don't know. <clears throat> and really it's going to depend on whether or not I can get the thing working. If I can get it working uh, reasonably well, then I may look at replacing that power switch naturally. But I want to show you what it's doing. And I may have started this, but I, I, I noticed something new. So I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the on the, on the uh, pulley there for the motor. So if I have 45, it'll spin, which is cool. It'll stop, which is cool. 33, so it, it spins, but it's spinning at 45. And notice that there's no light. But I was just kind of cleaning this, and I notice if I, if I kind of ground this, right, if I touch the middle post to the end, to the edge post, it spins at 33 instead of 45. And I confirm this because I put the belt on and when it, it'll spin more slowly at 33, even though it's hard to tell here. That's 45, spinning pretty fast. That's 33, spinning a little bit slower. Although it doesn't look like it, it, it actually spins at like 34. But I didn't have a, it had a belt on it that came with it and I have no idea if that's the right size belt or not. So I can turn that off. The way this works is it has a series of lights underneath and this actually has an auto stop function. All right. I also, I think I, I think I did film replacing that. So I replaced that tone arm stand. Again, I've got <clears throat> all these turntables running at the same time uh, that I'm repairing at the same time. And it's hard for me to keep track of what I filmed, what I didn't film. <laughs> Looking at the bottom of this, we'll see that it's it's kind of a mess underneath here, so. Um, first I will show you the, the procedure for removing that, this, uh, this sub platter, right? The, the, the platter spindle. What was that? Oh, it's a screw. I'm not sure what that was doing there. Weird. All right, so. He, oh gosh, and everything's connected. So you've got. I'm gonna have to unscrew this so I can get to the dang turntable. Let me do that. And come back. I have to unscrew the power cords and I have to unscrew this ground wire so I can get to the bottom of this. Horrible design. Horrible design for maintenance. So I thought this would actually release these wires from the bottom plate, but it doesn't. And this thing is a, a joke when it comes to flipping it over and trying to get to the parts you need to get to. I mean, what an absolute... How stupid. How stupid. So as I work on this, it needs to stay attached to the bottom. Dumb. Just dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I see why these turntables didn't last all that long in terms of their design. So 
So let's look at this. I don't want to break any more of these little plastic, little plastic guards here. But to remove that sub platter, and it's really hard to show you this, but there's actually a C-clip, and I can't really get in there. I'm not gonna try too hard because it's gonna be a tough shot to get. There's a C-clip, so see this? See if I can get a screwdriver here. All right, so see, this is actually a cup that sits underneath the platter spindle, and there's a C-clip here. You've got to get the screwdriver in, turn it, remove the C-clip, and then this, this uh, sub-platter will come out. Because I had to pull that out to clean all the, um, all the belt goo off of it. So that was not fun. The way the circuitry works here at least from what I understand, is you have to have these three light bulbs working. Well, two of them are out. So I don't know if that 33 issue is because there's a, there's a lamp out here or if there's some other issue. But those really aren't mechanical switches as far as I can tell, right? You just They're just little touch pads. So I'm hoping that if I can figure out how these are mounted, I can replace those lamps. And again, I, I probably can't get it because of the way this stupid turntable is designed. And if you can't tell, I'm a little, I'm a little owly this morning. I'm a little pissy this morning. Um, but I can't tell how these clips are designed. Oh, I think there might be a little metal tab, but it's plastic. There's like a little plastic tab here. I don't understand how these were mounted in here. I just don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Cause I need to slide these out. I need to slide them up. I need to slide them up like this here, right down here. So I need to be able to pull these out basically. And I don't see a way to do it. Those are plastic. Oh, there are two screws here. So let me pull those screws out. I should change my channel to the grumpy, the grumpy electronics deck. Because I've been feeling pretty grumpy lately. It's probably because I have 45 Goodwill turntables I gotta go through. Uh, the last few have kind of given me some headaches. Let's see if I can move this into a better spot. There we go. So let's remove this assembly here. When I looked at this last night, because I didn't remove the kind of the, the plinth, the middle part that sits between here and here, I couldn't see that there were screws. But those screws appear to have done nothing for that. And I think there's also uh, some capacitors on this board that it's, uh, it's highly recommended um, those caps be replaced. I know there's like a 470 microfarad cap that's recommended to be replaced. All right, maybe I can get that out now. Again, this is a fantastic design. I'm hoping this gives me more easier access to those lamps. And these lamps are very um, oh, there are no lamps there. The lamps are gone. Well, that's interesting. So, I wonder if that might be part of the problem. I mean, that's such a weird design. And you can't remove these. At least I can't see how you remove those. And it, there's a, a seller on eBay that sells the lamps. I'm just assuming they twist in there? I have no idea. Because I can't remove what I need to remove to actually see what's going on here. Oh, they just slide out. Oh, that one up there. Okay. Okay, so those are... <laughs> 
Hey, this is just kind of funny. Oh, and like... What a horrible, horrible design. Horrible design. But it looks like we have colored wires on the left post and we have ground wires on the right post. I don't see a ground wire for what would be um, here for 33. So maybe that was our problem because I have three ground wires, but I'm thinking one of these was not attached. That would be kind of nice if that were the issue. Wow, and there's like grease all over everything. But the question is, how are these mounted? Oh, they're screwed. They're screwed in there. Oh, cool. Looking for my lamps that I got yesterday. See if I can find where I put those. And these, all of these lamps have different values. So I have a stop, I have a stop sensor, I have a stop lamp, and I have 33 and 45. So, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do these one at a time. So there's 33. The middle one is stop. This is 45. Yeah, kind of weird, huh? I think the stop sensor is over there. I believe. Yeah, there's a lamp in there. So. Yeah, what a bizarre turntable. Our turntable. Um, despite the build quality, folks uh, seem to like these. At least from what I've read. But you know what I found on Audio Karma? You can find fans for anything. Right? I could put the crappiest piece of equipment out there and people are going to either love it or hate it. And this goes like so. And I'm going to start by mounting the lamps. So they go, yeah, they go like that. I think I got that right. And then this will be, I'm gonna have to trace those, I'm gonna have to trace the ground wires. And then this would be stop. And this would be 45. Or do I have that back? Yeah, well it's gonna be, this is actually 33 here. Yeah. 33 there. So then if this is spun around, I will probably get these back. Oh, it's marked here on the board. So that's that's helpful. Man, what a mess. What a mess. All right, so this is this red wire is marked 33. So 33, I'm going to start with that one. And they were on the outside as I was looking at it this way. So let me put that in. And then they all go to the same ground point, so it shouldn't matter. Um, other than this is going to be the farthest away from it. This appears to be the longest wire. So let me slide that in there. And then we have stop is blue. And it's marked stop right there. Another stop. I think that was brown. I'm hoping it was brown. And now that I know, I can just slide these up once I get this back in. I can get it. And gosh, what a weird, 
What a weird design. And then, and I'll show you what I'm connecting these to. That one looks like how oh, it pulled. One of these pulled part of a post off. Or what is that? Oh, that's a post that came from one of these. But they're all intact. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I see, I see, I see. All right, so you have an inner, inner and an outer. Inner is likely the, um, outer is likely the ground, inner is probably... So I got see so on this one I attached them both to the inner and I need to attach one to the outer. So I'm gonna attach the ground to the outer, the outer post. And one of them broke off. That's why 33 wasn't working. I got it now. Luckily there are four posts on each one of these. So if one breaks, you can uh, at least I'm guessing you can use another one. I'm hoping that's correct. So this will go inside. Man, that one's kind of tough. Inside. Yeah, it's on. And then black will go outside. Right, and that's basically going to go in here like so. So that's 45, that's 33. And those are actually supposed to be oriented a specific way. So I'm going to try to get all of those oriented correctly, I think. Let me see. All right, so. Yeah, there's a flat side. So they need to be oriented like this. I need to see what that looks like from the bottom. And I'll probably have to reposition the wires. Yeah. So they have to be oriented like that. And one of the, the 33 ground wire popped off already. So let's make sure that is. Okay, so the slots should be sideways. So I may have to take a long screwdriver and uh, reorient some of these once I get it down in there. Man, this is weird. I know I've said it a bunch of times, but it is very weird. And that one. some light. Let's see where I'm putting that. So glad it popped off that post. Let me have to just pull it out. Do it this way. Okay, so that's, hopefully that stays. And hopefully these lights, or these uh, 
Buttons stay aligned. I think these are going to magnetize my screwdriver, make my life easier. Will it hold that in there? Yeah. Alright, so there's number one. And it's not going in. There we go. And it looks like this one's just a little bit out of alignment. That one's good. This one looks good. This one in there. I'll turn off my lamp. And then this goes here. I think that's what I meant, right? Oh no, this one over here. That looks like a, some kind of adjustment. I'm probably have a variable resistor down there. Alright, so that's back in. I'm not going to test it until I... Well, I guess I could test it. But I'm going to flip it over to test it. I do want to replace this one. I'm going to assume it's bad now that I know you just slide that out. Yeah, I could not for the life of me, when it was oriented the other way, I could not visualize how these came out. They just slide out. Well, the other ones just slid out. Naturally, this one is... Why would it want to co cooperate? stuck in there. Alright, I should possibly how can I I'm gonna try to get this out of here. I'm not gonna waste battery while I'm trying it. Well it didn't just light out like it was supposed to. It's stuck in there. So what I had to do was remove the shroud, this little metal shroud over the lamp, and then pop the lamp out. I tried moving this thing with pliers, vice grips, screwdrivers, it wouldn't come out. So I don't know what the deal is with it. But what I had to do was, let's see if I can get this aligned. There are these little tabs on this piece here. And I had to bend the tabs. They go through little slots here. And I had to pull it out that way. There we go. So these little tabs were just kind of bent like this. Let's bend them back. And they, they hold that little shroud in place. <clears throat> yeah, again, what a weird, just what a weird design. And I was able to pop this out. Let's see if I can do it again. Let's see if I can get it back in there. So 
there's the stop lamp. <clears throat> okay, so now what I'm going to do <coughs> is I want to... I think I just dropped a screw. I have to find that screw that just fell. Alright, let's see if I can find that. And I'm going to put this back together and we'll see what happens.